Today we're traveling back to 1953, Puerto Rico. The date and the birthplace of the red-headed slut. What? No! Yeah. Um, no. To the birthplace and date of the piña colada. If you ever worked at a tiki bar. Or a nightclub. Or a beach bar. Or a restaurant. Or a pub. Or a craft cocktail bar. Or a Michelin star restaurant bar. Or a hotel bar. Or a shitty fucking wedding bar. Or a music festival bar where you are drunk the whole time. Chances are you made one of these things. Let's make one too. Let's get started. Where's the coin? Heads or tails? Tails. Hey, you go for the classic, baby. Apparently, it took three months for Ramon Monchito Morello to find the perfect plant. Luckily, it wasn't nuclear, but the flavors were. <laughs> Get it? Joke? <laughs> okay. The pineapple is a really interesting fruit. It combines sweetness and acidity. It symbolizes friendship and hospitality in many cultures. And we all know you can't be a mixologist if you don't have one inked on your forearm. The piña colada, symbol of the Caribbean summer, is just as refreshing as it is easy to make. The secret lies within the right amounts and combination balance of rum, cream of coconut, and pineapple. 20 years after its creation, it became the national drink of Puerto Rico. Well played, Monchito. Well played. The bar chef of Hot Tatsi cares about two things, it's beard and its creations. No wonder they are both immaculate. As Monchito, Thomas spent weeks of perfecting his alternative. As one of the signature masterpiece in Hot Tatsi, it was created with the thought, which also gave its name, Reborn. Carefully extracting the essence of the ripe pineapple, making pineapple water, then adding the acidic flavor of coconut vinegar and the light sweetness of coconut water would only come to mind to a true fanatic. The finishing touch of the smoked pepper oil and the fragrance of the kaffir lime leaves oof, makes this classic truly reborn. Which one do you prefer? Let us know in the comments. As we mentioned in our last video, we created this channel to collaborate with you guys. The Reborn cocktail has been submitted to us by Tomáš Kočiš, head bar chef of Hot Tots, one of the best bars in Budapest. We appreciate his contribution and thank you Hot Tots for hosting us. You can check out Thomas, his beard and Hotsi's Instagram in the description below. Please show us your love, like and subscribe and leave a comment if you like us. Or if you don't, we'll delete it anyway. So reach out to us if you have a cool modern day twist in a classic so we can feature you in our later episodes. See you soon. Cheers.